In today's MMA news, the spotlight falls on Dana White as he openly acknowledges his single concern with Conor McGregor, the UFC's enigmatic star, prompting a swift response from McGregor himself. Meanwhile, tensions escalate as Sean Strickland throws down the gauntlet, challenging Michael Chiesa to a high-stakes showdown following a heated exchange on social media. Take a second to subscribe and like the video to not miss any content. Let's dive right into it. Head of the UFC recently talked about the only issue he has with Conor McGregor. White and McGregor have worked well together since McGregor joined the UFC in 2013. McGregor was signed after his impressive performances in Cage Warriors, where he became a champion in two weight classes. McGregor, also known as The Notorious, has been the main attraction in some of UFC's largest pay-per-view events, like his fight against Khabib in UFC. Throughout his remarkable career in the UFC, McGregor has played a significant role in the company's growth and popularity. White and McGregor have had some rough patches in their UFC relationship. Confess that he has one issue with the former double UFC champion. He's frustrated with McGregor's punctuality, saying that McGregor often arrives late for media events. White bluntly stated, If someone asked me to list all the bad things about Conor McGregor, I'd say the guy doesn't show up on time. That's it. White complimented McGregor, saying he was a fantastic partner. He also mentioned that if McGregor arrived on time, which doesn't always happen, he's been a great partner. McGregor found White's story amusing and shared a video of the UFC CEO on Instagram along with two laughing emojis. Sean Strickland and Michael Chiesa got into a fight online. Now, Strickland wants to fight Chiesa for real. Strickland thinks that men who have dogs but no kids are not living meaningful lives. He says they should focus on having a family instead. Strickland posted on Twitter about a dog named Miss Peaches. He asked if the owner has kids. When he found out the owner doesn't, he said that grown men who care a lot about dogs need to think about their lives, whether they are rich or poor. Chiesa quickly replied to Strickland's message. He said, if you're a grown childless man hating on someone for loving a dog, you gotta rethink your life rich or poor. After that, Strickland responded to Chiesa and proposed settling their argument with a physical fight. He suggested this as a way to resolve their disagreement. What do you think? Chris Weidman responded to his coach's comments about a possible rematch with Bruno Silva after UFC Atlantic City. In the last Saturday's match, Weidman won against Silva by TKO. However, the New Jersey State Athletic Commission changed the result to a technical decision win. This happened because during the finishing moves, it seemed like Weidman accidentally poked Silva's eye. Take a second to subscribe and like the video to not miss any content. Silva is really angry about the outcome of the fight and wants to complain to the sports authority. Right now, we don't know if Silva's complaint has worked. Not long after the fight, Longo said on a podcast that he'd be happy to have a rematch with Silva because their last fight was so controversial. Weidman, who finally won a UFC match after waiting for a long time, seems okay with the idea of a rematch too. In a recent statement, Michael Bisping expressed his opinion that Kamzat should be worried about facing Robert Whitaker. Bisping suggested that Kamzat should be automatically concerned about this potential matchup. Michael Bisping thinks he might struggle against Robert Whitaker if their fight goes on for a long time. Kamzad and Whitaker will fight in a big match on June 22 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The fight will have five rounds and will be shown on ABC. This will be the first time Chamav has fought in a five-round match. Bisping worries this could be tough for him, who has never lost a fight before. A funny video of Sean O'Malley getting ready for his fight against Marab has popped up. In the video, he's seen goofing around during his training. Right after winning against Cheeto Vera at UFC 299, Sean O'Malley, the current bantamweight champion, quickly challenged Topuria for his next match. After the fight, O'Malley had a short meeting backstage with Marab. After all what happened, he posted the video showing O'Malley's unusual training routine for his upcoming fight against Marab has just come out.
Sean O'Malley is facing a similar situation. Mareb is gearing up to challenge him for the title in his next fight. Sean saw firsthand how strong Mareb was when he fought against Henry, a former Olympic gold medalist, at UFC 298. But for now, there's no official news about who Sean will fight next or when the match will happen. Petter Yan has taken up Marlon Vera's challenge and is ready to face him in the MMA ring. He promises to teach Vera a lesson by showing him some moves in the fight. Marlon Vera had a bunch of things to talk about concerning Peter Yan and how much he's been complaining over the years. That's likely why Marlon didn't take long to respond when Cheeto reached out. The timing should be good because both of them fought at UFC 299 in Miami. Petter Jan might need a bit more time to recover from his recent surgery, though. He said, Do I want to fight Marlon Vera? Yes! Jan told KP Sport, I'll be ready for November. Of course I'll do it. I'll take him to mixed martial arts school. Things won't go according to plan for Vera either. That's 100%. We're going with what we've got so far. October or November is a good time to make that fight. Conor McGregor, the Irish fighter, shared pictures from a party at the Black Forge Inn. Some fans criticized him, expressing concern for his wife and children because of his partying. People are upset about Conor McGregor's recent post on Instagram. This time, he shared a bunch of photos of himself having fun at the Black Forge Inn. Fans are unhappy because they noticed that his children and his fiance weren't in the pictures. Some people mistake Dee Devlin for his wife, but they got engaged four years ago in 2020 and haven't married yet. Instead, they've had several kids together including their newest addition, Mac, who was born in early December. Even so, fans are criticizing McGregor for not showing himself as a family man. McGregor's fans may get upset sometimes, but his partner Devlin has never openly criticized him, even when he gets into trouble with the law. They've always stuck together, showing a strong front to the public, despite McGregor's occasional legal issues. Chael Sonnen talks about why Sean Strickland took so long to come back to the UFC. He has two surprising ideas about it. Chael Sonnen believes there might be a reason why Sean Strickland hasn't fought in the UFC lately. Strickland hasn't been in the ring since he lost his title to Duplessis at UFC 297. He's not happy that the UFC hasn't set up a rematch for him yet. Strickland is even talking about switching to boxing if the UFC doesn't give him what he wants. Sonnen who used to be a big UFC fighter, thinks the UFC could be planning a major fight for Strickland's return. My guess is at some point he's going to have to play with one of the big names. That big name that's sitting there available is Sean Strickland. Strickland is no stranger to tough fights. Last July, he won against Abus Magomedov in a big UFC fight night match. Then, he went on to beat Israel Adesanya for the championship at UFC 293. Now, if Nickel wins strongly at UFC 300 against Brundage, he might climb up to the top 15 rankings quickly. Strickland might be up for facing him as Nickel makes his mark in the rankings and Strickland returns to the cage after being the middleweight champ. Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos. We are interested in your opinion, so take a second to write it down. See you in our next video. Take care.